Okay, welcome to the new video, fellow traders. Now, in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, one of the most important uh, thing that you can do as a trader. Okay, that's preparing for the trading week ahead. Okay, so today is actually third May, and third May is actually a Sunday. Okay, so right now our team is actually busy uh, preparing uh, our analysis for the week ahead. Okay, so if you are new to trading, right, um, you need to understand that. Um, Preparation is very important, okay? You know, um, what a lot of people do is, uh, you know, over the weekends, they spend time with family, you know, they, uh, they chill, right? I mean, that's fine, don't get me wrong. That is perfectly fine. But professional traders who are really serious about trading, what they are doing is uh, they're actually preparing uh, for the week ahead, okay? Because if you do not prepare, then uh, you prepare to fail, right? I mean, that's kind of the cliche, um, you know, code that you always see online okay so in today's video i want to highlight to you the importance of preparation and i want to give you some insights into uh, how uh, i prepare for the week ahead okay so uh, let's get into it okay so right now what we are looking at is the forex factory okay uh, we're looking at the forex calendar okay so if you're new to trading and you do not know what the forex calendar is okay the forex calendar is actually a calendar that tells you the list of uh, economic data for the week ahead okay. so you can see that uh, right now it's uh it's third may okay and i'm just looking at the entire week uh economic data okay so if you're already part of our telegram channel right especially if you've been there for some time you know that uh we always say that uh the economic data for the week will determine the market condition okay so before i go into the charts and maybe show you how i how i prepare uh here's a very good tip for you okay whenever you have a week such as this okay you look at all the red uh details uh data right uh Red means that they have high impact. Okay, whenever you see weeks like this, uh, you know you see BOE, BOE monetary Pol policy report, right? You see uh policy statement or you see conferences. Okay, these are the kind of weeks which are very tricky to trade, and uh, the market is very uh constipated. Okay, what do I mean by constipated? I mean that it doesn't move much. Okay, why is this so? Okay, because during this kind of statements, right, like you have rate statements, you have pol policy summary, these statements are, uh, it, it's kind of like a speech, right? So when it comes to conferences where there's speeches, um, it's very hard to predict uh, what the governor will say or, you know, what the chairman will say. Okay, because sometimes, you know, people spur of the moment, they might actually say something, uh, you know, wrongly or they might say something they shouldn't say, right? So the market, before you know the event right the big institutional players are not going in okay and when the institutional players are not going in then you don't see a, any big movement okay and big movement is what you want uh, to make money correct contrast this to you know data like unemployment rate which is actually what i call hard data okay hard data means that it's just a number okay it's a number so here's the thing about numbers okay the big institutional players already know the numbers before the retail traders like Joe and I, okay? So even before this data is released, chances are the people who are big traders, right? The institutional, you're talking about Barclays, right? All these big banks, big institutions, they already know the, the numbers. And because they already know the numbers, they will position their trades before uh, the actual news release, right? Because they're trying to profit from it, right? They're trying to profit from the retail traders. Okay, so that's what you must understand. Okay, so the first step that you always want to do when doing your uh, trade preparation is to look at the calendar. Okay, uh, in fact, in my Forex course, I, I go through how do you identify uh, the, the, the kind of week that we're going to have, right? Is it going to be a trending week or is it going to be const const sorry, constipated week? Okay, so in this case over here, we have, um, you know, we have the, as I said, policy summary and you have nfp sorry not and not really nfp yeah i mean nfp yes correct non-farm okay but the, that's on friday and wednesday the adp non-farm payroll okay this too so during non-farm payroll weeks um the market tends to be uh, very uh full of traps right so you want to be trading the fake outs okay but this week right what you see is you also see this uh 
monetary policy summaries and you see all these rate statements. So this is going to be a difficult rate to trade. Okay, so that's how uh, you do it. Okay, but of course, if you do not know all this, right, then you can you can check out the free forex course that I have for you. Okay, the link is in the description. Okay, I go into details on how do you actually uh, determine the market condition. Okay, but the first step you want to do is you want to kind of pre so called predict uh, what the market condition is going to be like for um, the week ahead. Okay, after that, then uh, you will look at the currency pairs. So, for example, you have big news on Aussie, you got big news on pound, and you got big news of a dollar and cat. Okay, so these are the currencies that you might want to uh, focus on, including Kiwi as well. Okay, after this, after you kind of have a good idea, then you want to shift to the uh, charts. Okay, so as I said, this is going to be a you know kind of like a demonstration video. Uh, of how I do it, okay. So, uh, just a disclaimer before I start this, uh, you know, analyzing of charts, okay. Now, this is the way I analyze a chart, and this is the way that works for me, okay. That might not work for you, okay. If this is your first video that you are watching, you want to make sure that you check out my other video about um why you know your guru is killing it, but you are not, okay. That video will explain to you why uh the way I analyze might not suit you. Okay, because we might have different personality, right? We might have uh, different risk tolerance, right? We might just be different, okay? But the purpose of this video is not to show you, uh, teach you how to analyze, right? It's more to show you the process, okay? Like what, what my thoughts, like I said, uh, the first thing that I do is I look at the Forex calendar, okay? That's, that's the way that I do it, right? Then I go into the charts, okay? So just, just bear in mind about that disclaimer, okay? So the first thing that... Uh, I do, right, because I'm more of a day slash uh, swing trader. Okay, I like to uh, catch the momentum. And so I'll look at the uh, weekly chart, okay? So I look at weekly, then I go to daily, then I go to H4, okay? So I look at the last week's candle, okay? Or rather now it's Friday, uh, Sunday. So the, the current week's candle that uh, has just uh, concluded, okay? So I can see that um, price did a very nice uh, bullish engulfing pattern, okay? So naturally, uh, I would want to um, buy, okay? So my bias, you know, I just draw some lines, okay? My bias is that uh, I want to buy, okay? Because uh, last week uh, was a very nice bullish candle, okay? Then I'll go to the daily, okay? And I, and I just look for more more clues about, okay, now uh, I kind of want to buy, but uh, like what's the best levels to buy? You know, what, what do I need, you know? What do I need to see? So if I draw some lines, I can see that, uh, okay, price broke this, uh, this but uh, I have a swing high over here okay which is over here so look at it on Friday price didn't close above uh, this level okay so what I want to see is I want to see price uh, close above this level on the daily chart okay because this kind of uh, resembles a double bottom pattern okay just a moment let me just change this okay it re represents kind of like double bottom and we are kind of at the neckline right now, okay? So what I want to do is I want to see that a daily close above it first and then, uh, you know, I look for a retracement up, then I'll buy it up, okay? So you can see that I always start from the higher time frame, okay? I go to daily, I sorry, I go to weekly, I go to daily, then I go to the H4, okay? So in this case, you can see that uh, it's, it's a very nice uptrend, Okay, but uh, I want to wait for more confirmation. Okay, so this is kind of like the process. Okay, in fact, uh, I have not yet recorded a video about how to do multiple time frame analysis, but I think that it's something that I record in real time because it's very important. Okay, so what is multiple time frame analysis? Now, multiple time frame analysis is very simple. Okay, it's simple to understand, but it's not easy to execute. Okay. What it means is that you are just looking at multiple time frames. You're looking at, the, for example, you're looking at the weekly, daily, and H4 to, to form an analysis. Okay, it sounds simple. But what happens is that sometimes, you know, the daily can be in conflict with the weekly. You know, the weekly can be in conflict with the H4. So that's where it gets complicated. So that's a very difficult video to create, right? Because there's so many uh, variations. There's, you know, there's an infinite uh, 
ways that the market can express itself. But uh, I, let me think about how to do it, okay? If you need help for that, uh, please leave a comment below, right? That you need help, just let me know. I'll try my best to help you with that, okay? So you want to look at the weekly, daily, then H4, okay? For you, if you're not trading my kind of time frame, you just want to know that you want to incorporate multiple time frames, be it daily, H4, H1, okay? And you always want to start from the higher time frames, okay? Start from the higher time frames. Okay, this is important. Time frames, okay? This is very important, okay? Never ever, you know, just, uh, j just zoom straight into the H1, okay? You need perspective. You need to see the bigger picture, okay? And always remember that a higher time frame takes, uh, you know, is stronger than a lower time frame. Let me just type that up for you. Okay, so what do I mean by higher time frame is lower than, uh, stronger than a uh, lower time frame? This means that if you see a bullish pattern, for example, if you see that this neckline is broken on the daily chart, then if you see a small, you know, double top pattern in H4, you would want to follow the daily pattern because a higher time frame pattern is stronger than a lower time frame. Same goes if you are looking for a, you know, like H1 and H4. The H4 is going to be stronger than H1. So that's the reason why you always want to start from the higher time frame. You do not want to ignore the higher time frame. Okay. So let me just show you one more example. Okay. This is zero dollar. So normally what I do is that I will go through all the majors. Okay. So in a sense, it takes a bit of time because uh, if I go through all the majors, right, then uh, that, that's a lot of pairs, right? That is, you know, that's just the way it is, okay? So this is why, you know, uh, I'm able to generate so much pips, right? This is a reason why come Monday, you actually receive signals straight to your phone, like, you know, like immediately, like sometimes at even 8 a.m., right, in the morning, 9 a.m., you start receiving signals because we do our homework over the weekends, right? We want to make sure that um, you make money. We want to make sure that we make money, right? Because if we make money, you make money, right? And of course, it's our own money, we betrayed a big account, so of course we want to make money. So this, you know, we are not here just to make, you know, just fifty dollars, hundred dollars. We're here to trade big. We are professional traders. Is we do this for full time, right? We're not, you know, not some kiddo that it's, you know, doing this for like five minutes a day and hope to make a million. No, we are putting real hours to analyze the market. Okay. So that's what you need to be doing. So you need to treat trading as like a full-time job, right? You need to be serious about it, like a business, right? You need to put in your effort. You need to uh, prepare. You need to study, right? So today is Sunday. On Saturday, we study uh, our, our previous trades. We study uh, like what are the mistakes we make, you know, how can we improve? Like were there some things that didn't go as planned, you know? We are always studying, okay? We are not just, you know, take the profits and start enjoying like, you know, most of what the gurus say online, you know, oh, just trade five minutes. I mean, yes, it's five minutes because you just click the button. But if you want to get good at it, you need to spend the time to analyze your own place. You need to spend the time to analyze the market, okay? That's what you need to be doing. Okay, anyway, sorry about that. I digress. Okay, I was just trying to teach you a bit more. But um, back to uh, Aussie dollar. So uh, back to the same thing. I always start from the weekly. Okay, so if you go and look at the weekly, you notice a very uh, interesting thing. Okay, this looks like hangman. Okay, hangman. It ended bullish, but it didn't close above E. This uh, weekly high. Okay, let me see if I can. Okay. If you draw a trend line like this or so, price is still resisted by uh, this, uh, this trend line or so, okay? So currently right now, uh, my thinking is that I probably want to look for a bearish move, okay? But because this week, the, pre the current week is still bullish, I want to look for a bit more confirmation, okay? So if you can see over here, uh, this was the line that was drawn over the weekly, right? It seems like a very nice fake out. Right, it breaks above and then you know start selling down. Okay, very typical of um popish movement whereby you have a fake out, right? And maybe I mean it's too early to say, but maybe you have a you know head and shoulders going to be formed, right? I mean it's too early to say. Okay, it's too early to say. But notice how I'm always thinking ahead. Uh, I'm not reacting to crisis. I am kind of already forecasting. I'm already forecasting. Okay, this is what might happen, and if this happens, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, that's the way that uh, I train myself to do the analysis. I don't just react and, oh, price has dropped. Now it's time to buy or now it's time to sell. That's reacting. Okay? As traders, you want to be you know, kind of 
have a plan really, wait for the plan to happen. Not just react to whatever happens. Because if you are reacting, then you are too slow already. Okay? So if you look at the uh, uh, daily chart over here, you can see that uh, price has kind of broken the, uh, the, the trend line. Okay? To be honest, this is not a very clean break. Okay? I mean, depending on how you draw the trend line, if you, you know, adjust it, it may or may not be broken. So what I want to see on Monday especially is I want to see that uh, this has a very nice break. Okay, I want to see price collapse down very nicely. Okay, and then I'll look for a, uh, you know, some set, some form of setup to short it down. Okay. Okay, now I understand that, you know, I'm not giving you the specifics. I mean, I would love to give you more specifics. But uh, this video is not meant to be specifics about how to enter a trade. Okay, I've in many videos over, you know, in my channel. Okay, in fact, I have a three-day trading guide that gives you a step-by-step -step process that I use to uh, trade the Forex market. Okay, if you are new, you want to make sure you download a copy of that because it's free, okay? And you are struggling, right? Make sure you download that because those are, you know, lessons which I paid a lot of money to learn. Okay, I condense it in a PDF for you. Okay, it's free, right? To Just to help you get started, okay? But the essence of this video really is to show you that the first step that you do, you always come over to the Forex factory calendar, okay? You don't have to use this calendar. You can use other forms of uh, economic calendar. But uh, if you are new, I recommend just use Forex Factory because it's the most straightforward. Identify the kind of whatever news you have so that you will know what currencies to, to trade, right? As well as, you know, you don't want to enter just before the news, right? To know that, okay, uh, Tuesday 12.30 p.m., there's Aussie news. I don't want to enter at 12 p.m., okay? Because that would be kind of like gambling, right? And you also, if you have more experience or if you want to learn how I, you know, forecast the market condition based on the calendar make sure you claim a copy of uh, our forex course okay the link is in the description also they teach you everything you need to know okay it's a whole entire complete course and it's actually free okay just just check down the link below i leave a link in the descri description okay then i come over to this uh you know this this charts okay this is trading view charts to kind of look at uh do my analysis okay i start from the higher time frame i go to the lower i write notes about what is my plan for next week right which is tomorrow then when the market start i start executing okay that's how i prepare for it okay if you have any questions just leave a comment down in a, you know just leave, leave a comment down below i'll do my best to address it okay so that's it for this video prepare hard remember if you do not prepare you're gonna fail Okay, so make sure you put in a lot of hours, you know, into preparing, into analyzing your trades. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.